Yo, 336 BC and Crunk the Flatulent invents musical sound using only the hollowed out skull of his swamp yard sweetheart and his ass. 1322 and Baron von Stringplucker invents the loot in the bath. 1966 and Jimi Hendrix teaches the world how to play guitar properly with your teeth. Nineteen seventy and Grandmaster Flash becomes the first person to use the turntable as an instrument. Moments later, Flavor Flav coins the term. Yeah, boy. 2005 Guitar Hero launches. Everyone can play guitar. 2009, DJ Hero lands. Everyone is now a DJ, not just God. Is that street enough? Yeah, pretty street, yeah. <laughs> oh, crazy party. So the rhythm action genre has moved onto the wheels of steel. Mostly plastic based steel, but you get the point. We've come a long way since this genre started with Parappa the Rapper back in the late 90s. The industry is now quite comfortable with releasing all manner of weird and wonderful controllers with this genre. Ah, just, right, okay, just move all this plastic crap. Guitar hero, sing start, drum kit, steering wheel, all this wee shit that I played once behind the sofa. Why have I got toys? I'm 28. So what's this one like then? Well, it frustrates you that it's smaller than you imagined, which quickly makes sense when you sit on your lap. Any bigger and you'd have to set up a table in order to play it comfortably, which some people do anyway. The build quality is as sturdy and satisfying as we've come to expect, with the turntable correctly weighted and smooth. The top name DJs that have collaborated on the music have obviously been consulted to this regard and it shows. Yo, 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 shake what your mama bought you for Christmas. When I had you to myself, I didn't want you around. Those pretty faces always... When I first heard that this concept was in the pipeline, I was excited and apprehensive at the same time. Like a puppy, waiting for his owner to come home so he could show him the dirty deed he's done in the fruit bowl. Would freestyle games be able to continue the quality of this series into what is essentially far more for dedicated followers rather than just casual music listeners? Would the new controller allow the player to feel as involved in the music as, say, the guitars and drums have? Well, the answer is yes, they have, spectacularly. Every track is a mix of two songs represented by three streams. The left and right streams are the turntables and the middle one, effects. Buttons on the turntable peripheral are pressed in time to hit the markers on the screen. Nothing new there. However, we're mixing music here, people, so to the left, we have the crossfader. When the crossfader is in the middle, the two tracks play at the same time, whilst moving left or right isolates the individual tracks with the player following the streams on the screen correctly to accomplish the effect of a mix. Scratching sections are accomplished by holding down the buttons and moving the turntable in time to the indicators on the screen, with freestyle effects and phasing sections also available, and they show showboating extra there, which often leads to my downfall. Wild wit, wild, wild wit, wicker, 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 wicker basket. Wicker basket. That's, that's hip hop, innit? The track list is extensive, with genres of music to suit most tastes. The musicians have collaborated, adding real quality and endorsement to a product which could otherwise be derided by an image-conscious and sometimes self-important side of the music industry. Some tracks are, however, repeated in different mixes, which does tend to become a little bit repetitive, saving a little bit of cash on PRS rights, no doubt. Some of the tracks are catered to the more hardcore taste and will come across to many as JUST NOISE! But 
Once unlocked, you can create your own custom set list, which will allow you to pick your favourites and discard the others. Mate, mate, I'm busy, mate, I'm busy, mate, write it down, write it down, write it down, write it down. Can I get some headphones? Frick of fresh, frick of fresh. Big noise, big noise. The learning curve of the game is evenly distributed, with medium probably being the best for coasting through the tracks whilst feeling challenged and involved. The easy setting is really easy. I mean, you could shit on that disc and it would still hit the mix. I mean, it's really that, that easy. The step up from medium to hard is a massive step, a bit too massive for the uninitiated, perhaps. DJ Hero is everything I hoped it would be. The tracklist is excellent and the player's involvement through the newfangled peripheral is well thought out and fun. Does the game finally make the player look cool when playing it to a room full of people? No, it doesn't. Only really DJing can do that. But you're not meant to look cool, you're meant to have fun. And doing it alone or doing it at a party will create in you delusions of grandeur like no other titles in this series have done before. Mum! Mum, look! Look at me! I'm cool! You're not looking! Why have I got toys? I'm 28. Let me get home. Mom, I'm hungry! Mom? Oh, I'm not at home. I'm at my home, on my own, in a flat full of plastic shit! <laughs>